Hello, tell the list what are taking selfies. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, then hi, I'm Sarah. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. So if you're new here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button down below and join the Sarah squad. And also click on the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. For today, we are doing something very different. As you can probably tell from the title of today's video, my subscribers have chosen this makeup look for me over Zoom call. So when I actually hit 20,000, subscribers I held a virtual meetup where I met all the subscribers who were interested to join in a meetup with me over video call and like chat with them answer some questions and just have a chill evening with them it was the honestly the best day of 2020 for me personally because I got to meet all of my subscribers chat with them it was such a great and warm and friendly time in general and i really wanted to do something special for everyone who fills the form first so for the first 20 entries that i got through the google form that i put up for the virtual meetup i wanted to let those 20 subscribers choose my makeup look for a dedicated video and let them be a part of a video for my channel so that is what we are doing today there were eight subscribers in total for the first virtual meetup who've chosen the makeup that i am going to use in today's video so if you're interested to see what they've chosen and how this makeup look turns out and there's also going to be a little bit of a chill chatty session because it's actually two o'clock in the night and i don't have anybody around me to talk to so i'm talking to you guys so if you're interested then please keep on watching Alright, so let's get started. I've already cleansed my face. I've used the Dermaviv Hydra Cleanser and I've really been enjoying it. It's a soap-free cleanser and it's very good for sensitive skin. You know I don't really experiment when it comes to face washes. So now to prepare my skin for makeup, I'm using the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizer. I really like using this one before my makeup because it has a very sticky, it, it sinks fast into the skin but it's also at the same time a little bit of a sticky base. So if I'm like skipping primer, it uh, creates a very good base for my makeup. So let's get started with makeup. Up. Step 1 of my routine is always primer so let's see what was chosen for that. Now you get to choose my primer okay. I have the Lacme Absolute right here. The Lacme Absolute. I have Smashbox and I have Shambord. Which one will you choose? Uh, Shambord. Okay. So Harshita chose the Shambor Anti Shine Primer. This is one of my all time favorite primers. It's very long lasting and I feel like you guys know me so well because all of my favorites have been chosen in this entire routine. So I'm just going to take a little bit and dab it into my skin. I have NYX. I have the Rimmel Match Perfection. I have Huda Four Filter. You have to remember all this. Nykaa Skin Shield. Pack HD and Sugar Drop the Base. I give you a lot of choices. Put up. Put up. I don't like this one here, but okay. So Elizabeth chose the Huda Beauty 4 Filter Foundation for me. Now this is in one of my absolute favorite foundations because it tends to break me out and this color is not like the perfect match for my skin tone but we'll make it work today. This is a fairly full coverage foundation and this is a little difficult to blend so if you have such a situation at hand just to make things simpler always remember to like wet your beauty sponge really well and squeeze out all the excess water and along with that if your skin is like really dry the way mine is right now you can just spritz your face with a little bit of fixing spray so that uh, the blending becomes easier so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the Maybelline lasting fix and I'm gonna spritz it all over my face and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation at the back of my hand I'm taking like two pumps of this and I'm gonna dab it all over my face I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in place just because I spritzed my face with fixing mist, it's going to become much easier. Can you see what a color difference this is? This foundation is very light for my skin tone. So don't use this foundation shade if you want to get your hands on the Huda Beauty 4 filter. Uh, go a shade, I think two shades darker. Uh, if you're anything close to my skin tone, this is the shade Brown Sugar and it's very light for me. I'm just using it because I have it and I usually avoid using this one. 2000 years later. This foundation makes me look like like cement lagaya ho na multani mitti jaisa lagta hai mere pe definitely multani mitti jaisa lagta hai. But you know what this foundation also oxidizes so thode time baad it will start looking better hopefully and like it's very very different than my neck so I'm going to show you how you can like eventually make it all match. 
Uh, I made a mistake by wearing a sleeveless top because I should have worn something that covers my arms. My arms are much darker than my face. Uh, usually, uh, when I have like a lighter foundation, I try to cover up my body with clothes so that it doesn't like uh, look very very different. I just have three concealers. Okay, I'm very gorgeous like that. <laughs> I have LA girl, I have wet and wild, and I have pack. Okay. Alright, so for concealer, the LA Girl Pro Concealer was chosen. I don't really remember who chose this one for me. I'm in the shade medium beige, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this because the Hora foundation has pretty much done a job of concealing almost everything. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge and blend it in. For setting powder, I have Laura Mercier, I have the Maybelline Fit Me, I have the Revolution, the Mini So Mini Pony Powder, that's it. Fit Me? Fit Me would be good. Fit Me, okay, done. So for powder, I'm taking the Fit Me Loose Powder that was chosen by Naziha. She opted out to keep her camera uh, off, which I completely understand. Uh, not everybody really likes to be on camera and... Yeah, this is probably the reason why you'll never see my family or like much of my close friends in my videos because just because I've chosen this life, not everybody likes to be on camera. So I'm very like cautious about who I'm vlogging around and who is a part of my vlogs and stuff like that. And many people tell me do this video with your mom and do this video with your dad and they're not very comfortable being on camera. And how do I explain that to every single person? They're very supportive of me personally, but they don't really want to be in the limelight you know so that's like my mom's patent line i don't want to be in the limelight i don't want to be in the limelight so i'm like okay fine max she'll do with an instagram photo or two but that's it a bronzer ofra nyx colourpop and sivana colors NYX okay. So Sai chose the NYX bronzer. Now this bronzer is broken. I really really need to invest in makeup. Now that I've invested in equipment, high time that I invest in makeup you guys. I've ordered a new, um, not a new, like a, a bunch of stuff from HOK makeup because I wanted to test out their delivery and stuff. And just first impression, their delivery is taking the longest time because I've ordered like almost a week and a half back I want to say and I've not really gotten my parcel till now now I'm expecting it to come this week so hopefully if I get it I will share it uh, maybe on insta stories or let me know if you want to see like a makeup haul here I've done like a mini haul it's not a lot of stuff uh, from HOK makeup and from a few of the Instagram stores so if you want to see something like that let me know in the comments also something like a PR unboxing would that interest you uh, let me know in the comments because now, now I have start rece started receiving PR after three years. Uh, so maybe I could do something like that for you as well. Let me know what you like watching because I genuinely enjoy watching hauls and PR unboxings a lot. Another thing you should keep in mind if your foundation is lighter than your uh, natural skin tone is like use your bronzer generously because that is where you can you know make up for the lighter coverage so bronzer is an essential step especially when you're using foundation because ek bar foundation laga diya to uske baad it's like a blank canvas so you have to like warm your skin up like bring life back to your skin okay so wet and wild blusher color pop maybelline and i think i have more blushes uh, color bar that's it wet and wild Wet and wild. Okay. Next for blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. This was chosen by Sonal and Sonal is one of my OG subscribers. I always see her in the comment section. Some of you guys are just like so, um, so, so like, you know, my, my hype club. You're my hype club. I just remember your names because you're messaging me and you're DM me and you're like leave comments on my videos all the time. So I do remember names. I'm very, my memory is like, touch wood, Alhamdulillah, really, really good when it comes to all this. So I do remember your names and Sonal is one of those people. I realize that not everybody who watches videos does leave comments because uh, personally I am a big enabler. Like if I like a piece of content, I will be like commenting on that creator's videos and Insta posts and Insta videos. But many of my friends don't do that. And uh, 
I realize that many viewers are like that. So even if you're OG and you're not commenting on my videos, that's completely fine. I see you. Thank you for watching me. Yeah. Okay, Zama. Highlighter. My favorite. Okay. Yeah. Nika Maybelline Master Chrome Colourpop Ofra Makeup Revolution. Okay, uh, Master Chrome. Okay, done. So Zama chose the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight. Uh, Zama is actually also a medico. She's a dentist. This highlight is so blinding, you guys. I mean, just look at it. And like now with this lighting, it just looks like wow. Now remember, okay? Nika, crushed berries, dose of colors, color pop. Morphe. Do you want me to open and show you what is inside? It's okay. Okay, Morphe one is this one. And the NYX Warm Neutrals. Elf Matte for Matte is this. Then we have Morphe Jeffree Star. And we have Morphe Jacqueline. Which one? Do you even remember? Uh, what was the third one? Elf Matte. Internet connectivity is poor right now. What is the third one you showed? Colourpop QTF. Uh, yeah, Colourpop. Okay, this one. Alright, so this eyeshadow palette is the Colourpop Yes Please palette, which was chosen by Harshita. And the shades that I was supposed to use were actually chosen by Siley. Which colour should I use for my outer corner? Which colour should I use for my crease? Lid. Three colours. Okay, so for the outer corner, I will choose the brown one. This one? The last for the second, yeah. This one, okay. I think on the crease, the other stuff, second line, first one. Lid. And then, uh, yes, um, I think I should choose the uh, second one and the second one. Second line, second one. This for the lid. Okay, done, done. So she chose that I use this color in my crease, which is the shade Louis. It's a nice um, mud brown situation. For outer corner, Siley asked me to use this dark brown color, which is the shade Mischief, which would make for a perfect outer corner shade. So she knows her makeup really well. I'm just gonna place this on my outer corner as if I was drawing an eyeliner with it. For the lid, I'm using this shade called Spoiled, uh, which was chosen by Styly again and this is a nice very glittery chunky golden color so I'm going to place this on uh, like the inner half in a one third of my lid very pretty shade just going to be a little careful to avoid any fallout I just want like a kiss of this shade I don't want it to over oh, this fallout situation is so bad and I'm the worst when it comes to doing my uh, eye makeup first and then my base makeup. I know a lot of artists do that. I just suck at it. Taking the same shades of the crease and the outer corner, that orangey shade and the dark brown, and I'm going to just smoke out my lower lash line. So Kajal was not really chosen by anyone because between Kajal and Lino, Fiona actually chose uh, Lino. So that's why I'm just going to take the dark brown and place it close to my waterline so that it looks like Kajal. Which is a great trick to do if you don't like panda eyes and don't want to really use Kajal. You can do this trick, just place a dark eyeshadow close to your waterline and it works really well to add depth uh, to your eyes. Okay, you tell me, should we do kajal or should we do liner? Liner. Okay. So I have blue, I have black by NYX, I have lavender by NYX, and I have. Uh, I have kajal so that I can use as liner. This is again by Nina, lavender. And that's about it. I go with the classic black. Okay, you are keeping this very simple. Thank you very much. So the Lacme Absolute Eyeliner was chosen by Fiona, the classic black one. So 
So I'm just going to draw a simple a uh, line on my eyes, not really draw a winged eyeliner. I'm just taking the same highlight I used on my face, the master chrome one, and I'm gonna highlight my inner corner and uh, let's go for mascara. I have Lash Paradise, then I have ColourPop Blue, ColourPop Red Mascara, and Essence Lash Princess. Essence. For mascara, Sonal chose the Essence Lash Princess mascara, so before I dive into that, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Uh, so I have two very identical ones. I hope you can tell the difference. Uh, this is, I think, this is divine and this is so home and gloomy and beauty. Literally same look that I used for, but I can't tell the difference. Okay, go for divine. For lashes, Zama chose the Divine Eyelashes by Gloomy and Beauty. I only own Gloomy and Beauty lashes, and at the time of this video, I didn't really have many options to provide Zama with. But uh, she chose these ones, and these ones are actually some of my favorite ones by them. They are like so wispy, but at the same time so dramatic. They add the perfect drama to your eyes. So I'm just gonna apply these and be right back. All right, lashes are on. I'm really happy with the way my makeup looks as of now. Let's zoom you out and then get on with our lips. You choose between nude, pink, and red, and then I'll give you options. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so it's either Maybelline Sensational 11, which I love. You all know this color is like amazing. This one, or it's the Color Bar Velvet Matte, which is a darker nude color. Maybe. <laughs> Amazing! So this I can just imagine this is going to be a perfect look. So since Elizabeth has chosen the Maybelline Sensational Matte Liquid Lip in the shade 11, that's what we are going to use today. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I really like how this makeup turned out. It is definitely one of like my go-to makeup looks all using all of my favorite makeup products. So this goes to say that whoever joined the virtual meetup knows what my makeup favorites are. Thank you so much for everyone who joined the virtual meetup, who came and logged in and actually came to meet me and talk to me because it was such a great time talking to all of y'all, connecting with all of y'all better. I genuinely want to do this more often because it really like grounds me, makes me realize who my audience is, what my audience expects from me. And it's so great to know that just through YouTube, I can connect with all of you all from all over India. I'll be doing more of this in the future inshallah. If you did actually like this video then please don't forget to hit the like button. Also share this video with your friends and family so that we can make the Sarah squad even larger and stronger. For today's video the Sarah squad shout out goes to Mansa Korikal. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video Sarah squad shout out then all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad and you'll get a chance to be a part of my next video's Sarah Squad shout out. I will see you folks in a new video very soon. Bye guys, take care, love you all. Mwah.